If you got more than one wife, mm -hmm. how can you be one flesh one when flesh. you don't have one flesh? That's right. Well, we know Gino don't agree with polygyny, but polygyny is in the Bible. At the end of the day, it is. That Paul Pitt busted already looking at your daughter, planning in advance. Go ahead. Get all the wives for the bishop. Right. But the women only can have one man. Amen. You viewers ain't caught on to that yet. That's right. Now, I'm not no fan of Geno Jennings. There's some truth that he shared, but he also disagreed with parts of the Bible. And once I see a preacher doing that, he's a false teacher in my book. I'm going to slow cook this demon because I already showed y'all the receipts that the whole time while Dad was over there taking wives and all this other stuff, right? He was paying Ringo to be quiet and keep sending people to the coat straightway to hell. Are you talking about land rights and all that other stuff? Are you in captivity? I know I'm in captivity in America. What kind of land rights you got when you still paying taxes on your land? They're still under the system slaves to it and ain't getting out and, and i tell you most of them too proud so prideful that they can't even come and sit at my feet to learn hey guys before we continue i found that 77 percent of you who watch these videos are not subscribed click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos circulated within the youtube algorithm thank you for your support and truth let's get back to it but the reason why dowell was going back and forth with geno jennings it's not because of something Geno Jennings taught. It's because Geno Jennings was getting close to the fact that Dow was in adultery the whole time. That may be true in the deranged mind of Dow, but that still does not justify or sanctify polygyny. And Dow was not even on Geno Jennings' radar at the time, so I don't know what you're talking about. You can throw stones at Dow all you want. The practice of polygyny will earn you a permanent trip to the lake of fire. For those who watch these videos, I want to have an intelligent, God-fearing conversation about polygyny, divorce, and remarriage. Don't come here talking foolishness or I'm going to block you, okay? This is serious stuff. Last night, New Breed and Ringo started gaslighting our people, talking about smear campaigns, that the black man is the devil, uh, pocket watching, just a bunch of rhetorical gaslighting. Bottom line is you Negroes do not believe Jesus Christ is God, and you are well on your way to a Christless hell. Furthermore, you teach the false doctrine of polygyny, and you have yet to give details about this land initiative. All we have heard is that all are welcome, which is code for integration of all races and religions which spells sellout, okay? Will the alternate radical left be allowed to plant their rainbow flag on the premises? Will grown pedophile men be committed a long time with 15-year-old girls? I mean, would you trust your underage daughter around Ringo TV? I certainly would not after what I heard. So in this video, we're going to play clips of Geno Jennings, Pastor Dow, Ringo TV, C Rock Smooth and New Breed. Okay, we're gonna establish the framework for the next video, which I will dive deep into the scriptures. Let's continue. But see, here's the thing Dowell's version of polygyny is perverted because he took in a married woman. The Bible says that woman is not to be married again unless her husband be dead. It says that if she wants a man, she gotta be reconciled back to her husband. How come Dowell is not following that scripture? Now, in this dispensation, all versions of polygyny are perverted. I have stated in several videos the sanctification of marriage outlined in 1 Corinthians chapter 7. There is no sanctification for multiple wives and concubines because it no longer satisfies the mandates of holiness, which is the standard for all souls who desire salvation in Christ Jesus. I have already covered the law of jealousy. In the next video, I will cover scriptures under the Torah concerning forced entry between a man and a woman, or the humbling of the woman. Read between the lines. As for Dow taking Aaron Gonzalez's wife, Nellie, this is why the video is titled, Coming to a Wife Near You. Dow is still the face of polygyny, and I do not say that as a compliment. I know the Most High is going to judge him for his perpetual adultery, but let's not dismiss the hypocrisy of Ringo TV and New Breed. Our mission is to stop the devil from playing both sides. 
as I stated before, I believe Tao battled this adulterous spirit for many years before giving in to temptation. He just put way too much on himself than he could bear, trying to build straightway. And I don't think he spent enough time in the scriptures or praying without seizing, like the scriptures command us to do. And now the devil has fully possessed him, and he is coming to a wife near you. Because last I checked, the doors of straightway are still open, and Dow adheres to the false doctrine that a woman can divorce her husband and marry another man. That is just pure wickedness. <laughs> or maybe you married to someone that used to be a man and got a, 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 a surgery and now is a woman. That is an uncleanness. Well, we tearing up all of it and don't tell me. Boy, that is some serious stuff today. Because I showed y'all. Didn't I show y'all on this slide up there where you got men today looking better than women? The vanity of that damn makeup and stuff. I told y'all about that witchcraft stuff. I told y'all. Beauty. Beauty is vain. But a woman that fear of y'all is greatly to be praised. And what is what is what what, what are lures? And you got these he she's out here. Man putting on makeup, getting augmented breasts, and, and changing agendas and stuff. And now, I understand at this point, Pastor Dow just steered off subject in desperation to find some sin that is worse than what he is in. And as we will hear from Geno Jennings, some sins are an abomination. And that's all we were asking Ringo TV and New Breed about. Will Transformers be allowed on the premises? Can they use the same restrooms as women and children? Again, all we're doing is stopping this devil from playing both sides, rightly dividing the word of truth. She run the show. And this is why we are unable to build a kingdom because we, we, we fall into this prison that is keeping us isolated, keeping us dumbed down and docile, and we're unable to build. And um, it's unfortunate that in today's day, because of monogamy, right? So many men are afraid to be men. You, you get into these relationships and your woman control you. You're scared. You're like, well, I, I tried to talk to my woman about polygyny and she's just acting up and whatever. Bro, go out there, deal with another woman, get her pregnant. If your woman want to leave, let her leave. That's her fucking problem. It has nothing to do with you. Now, what do you mean it has nothing to do with you? See, what he just said is incredibly dangerous for the black man and for the black woman. First of all, a righteous woman, her patience and the faith would be tested dealing with a godless Negro like this. Furthermore, what do you think Ringo would do if he proposed this adultery to his wife and she said, heck no, Negro. No, you can't take no another woman in. What would he do? Now, if she leaves, those four kids are going with her because this is a matriarchal kingdom. What follows after that is child support. And then he said the first wife in that scenario is stopping you as the man from reproducing with the next. So now he's at peril of paying child support to multiple women. Again, under the law of Moses, or rather under the reign of the Old Testament kings, that was an unadulterated patriarchal kingdom. Israelite men were not getting their wages garnished by Jezebel. Many of his supporters failed to call him out on this hypocrisy. That's right. You've been suckered. Right. Amen. You're going to give your wife to your pastor as a gift? That's true. And you think that's God's will? My Lord. That's wicked. How can you be one flesh with a bunch of wives or one flesh with a bunch of husbands? That's right. Exactly. But Jane O'Jennings, the reason why polygyny is sin is because it is too much mixing of the DNA, which the fallen angels corrupted. But you do not believe that, sir. They say he justified divorce. That's right. They overlooked the Bible. I want to read this real good and take it apart. Amen. I often say over the air, focus on the language of the Bible. That's right. If you don't know the difference between fornication and adultery, you messed up. Yes. Fornication is not committed by married people. No. Adultery is committed by the married. Fornication is committed by single folk. That's right. Someone says sex is sex. All sex is not the same. No. 
Somebody say, oh, yes, it is. If it is, then men and men, it will be all right. It will be all right. All, all right. sex is not the same. No. There's some sex that fall under the title abomination. Abomination. Which exceeds fornication. That's right. That's right. You're going to tell me a, a woman lay with a dog is just like laying with a man? No. Gino has a point. This was a good message he preached besides him continuing the false doctrine that Christ is not God in the flesh. All sex is not the same. Man with man is an abomination. Woman with woman is an abomination. Any human that lays with an animal is detestable before God and is an abomination. So if Ringo TV and New Breed are accepting sponsors who will use this initiative to host abominable parades, just be thorough and stop trying to play both sides. Because thus far you've given limited to no information, no details. You said you don't care what nobody say. You stand with Gino. Well, Gino, he don't believe a man to have more than one wife. Gino also believed that it's okay to eat swine as long as you pray over it. Gino believed that if you married a woman, right, and uh, the woman leave that as a man you can't marry another woman that's what gino believes you stand with that uh no i do not stand with that religion is sinful i've already established that so miss me with that but i promised to touch on this earlier when i was talking about ringo tv's suggestion that you just go take another wife without your wife's permission although it's abominable anyway but let's take sister carol for example, Sister Carol, who was the first wife of Pastor Dow, who was married to her for 30 plus years, then he ran off and married three more wives. It is still lawful for Sister Carol to have intimate relations with Pastor Dow because that is her husband. She will not be penalized for the adultery of Pastor Dow, although he sleeps with different women. OK, he could have been having multiple affairs behind her back. OK, it's the same thing as him having additional wives. All right. Dino Jennings does not go deep into the different dynamics of divorce and remarriage and why polygyny is unlawful. OK, in multiple scenarios, if a man's wife leaves him, that man can remarry. If a woman's husband leaves her, that woman can remarry. Although Christ said they caused their spouse to commit adultery, Paul, who was filled with the spirit of Christ, said it is better to marry than to burn with lust. Okay. And the husband or wife is not under bondage in such cases where the unbeliever leaves. There are many reasons why they could have left. Okay, but that person's not in bondage unless they leave. Whoever leaves is the person that's in bondage. So Gino Jennings is preaching a false doctrine. He's putting many people in bondage. There are some cases where you can remarry. Allow spare not. Show the children of Israel their transgressions. Show the house of Jacob their sins. I've showed you where you were going wrong. Some of y'all ladies, y'all on these different chests because I told you that polygyny is righteous. And you didn't want to hear that. Although every man you got with, y'all end up breaking up because of infidelity. Although some of y'all are lonely and want a man. Although it's 20 women to every one man. And I told you, ladies, humble yourselves. Get with a righteous man. You may be a second or third wife, but it's okay. You ain't gotta be like the rest of this world. Y'all didn't want to hear that. I became your enemy for telling you the truth. Telling you biblically, showing you scripture after scripture, chapter after chapter, verse after verse, where it shows you the biblical patriarchs, all of them had more than one wife. And how the most high himself ordained religion. And there's nothing wrong with it. I showed you time and time again, but you chose to be lonely. Now you mad at me because you by yourself? I told you. I heard uh someone say that uh child protective services should be called on this man because he has four daughters. And Man, woo! This is Ringo, y'all. You know his voice. You know his voice. Take a listen to this and let me know what y'all think in the comments as you're listening to Ringo and what he thinks about little girls. A lot of times I hear brothers come in comments and they're like, "Yo, where am I? Gonna, where am I gonna find a virgin?" And I'm looking at these brothers like, "What the fuck you talking about, bro? It's sad. Most of you brothers, you know how to find hoes, but you don't know how to find virgins. Virgins, you have to find them when they're young. You have to find them before they get. F in order to do that, you gotta pretty much talk to women." They're all over the place. You see young ladies every f***ing day. Problem is, you're scared of the system. We're scared of the system. We're scared of the system. We're scared of the system.
the scale of the system. You scared. And you know, let me bring up R. Kelly into this. A lot of times, people are calling R. Kelly pedophile. R. Kelly this. R. Kelly's a fing. I keep that up. R. Kelly. Did y'all hear that? He said they're calling R. Kelly a pedo, right? He said R. Kelly is a G. In the streets, that means R. Kelly is a real man. That's what Ringo just said. His opinion of R. Kelly is he's a G. Once again, in the streets, that's what men. Okay, no breed. Not only does Ringo TV have to address the irrefutable evidence presented by C Rock Smooth, but you do as well because you're guilty by association. Address the videos I have done on polygyny first and foremost, which I will start a new playlist. Okay, and to you, the viewer, I have laid out all the facts. You have heard it in their own words. Many false prophets shall come and deceive many. Okay, new breed, you need to address this irrefutable evidence that Ringo TV believes underage girls can marry grown men. He supports R. Kelly. Okay, you heard the tape right here. All right, don't let your flesh write checks. Your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. The next video that I do, I will touch more on this whole situation and I will provide more scriptures in regards to divorce and remarriage and scriptures that do not support polygyny. All right. The devil is incredibly skilled at what he does and he does not get screwed on the deals he make with men. Will I become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. Enjoy the rest of your day.